This is Kira Mine, and I'm back with the um, RTL eight one eight seven chipset dry, um, driver that that uh, gives you spits you out a one two three error. Um, this is concerning the RF kill it, radio frequency. It kills. Uh, it basically commits suicide, and you have to constantly keep doing it. Um, this gentleman, which I found his video, which I'll be providing his web um, a link to his site because you know I'm giving credit where credit is due. Um, he pretty much was directed to a website, which I'll also be providing that website, which would be this website, and right at the bottom, uh, there's this long. Uh, all these commands right here and basically on his video he shows you how to input those commands he basically shows you how it's gonna look like um, I made a script because uh, remembering all these commands is just nearly impossible even for newbies so my script will make uh, newbies want to love Linux <laughs> um, because it just makes it easy um, this is what it does uh, uh, prep the kernel sources which is nothing major there um, then it uh, changes directory f to this folder um, and then it works within that folder to wgit which is to download that file which it downloads the silly rf kill patch dot patch and then and then it applies the patch with uh, this these commands um, then it works in a different directory and then it makes the 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 file rtl eight one seven ko and then you copy this file from that directory to that directory that's why you see the full directory these two are exactly the same and then it tells you to reboot that's it and then you it reboots the system and and well, where you go uh, my script is going to do all that. The reason why I'm showing you what my script is going to do, um, I'm showing you here so you can appreciate the script. Um, okay, so we go over here, and my the the command, the only command you'll rem have to remember for my script is so easy. Um, you'll bash your head on the keyboard, which is my command, which is a horrible joke, by the way. Um, bash that's it that's the command um and then you just uh grab and drop uh, uh grab drag and drop my my script uh didn't do it and then basically when you dra uh, drag and drop it it gives you the full directory where 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 the where the script is at that's why i drag and drop it for you know newbies in my videos and that's pretty much it. So you hit enter. Well, not completely yet. You hit enter, and then this will try to uh, uh, fix the RTL eight one eight seven for the Alpha and the G Sky. That's the ones that I know that it fixes it. Um, you can look at my other videos about how to make the you know this boot up. I'll show you what they pretty much make this, and then you can look at my other video to make this boot up all the time. Or, or you can try this new uh, patch, which should try to patch um, the error and stop it from killing itself, suicide. So, do you want to apply the... F uh, you can type in yes. I'm just going to type Y. For yes, it basically preps the kernel. And once it's done prepping the kernel, it'll uh, work within the directory... Um, to download the uh, the patch, it'll download it for you. This script will actually download it for you. And then that's it. Um, because see on my make right here, the the make over here where it tells you to make nothing to be done because I've already made made that file. Um, so that's why it's saying that yours won't say that it'll be closed off right there. Um, and then it tells you right here. I made this bold blue, so it can, uh, once you have rebooted, you will need to see if the fix, if this fixed the RTL eight one eight seven chipset with this command. So remember this command, the RF kill the um, space list, and then it's asking you system needs to reboot, and then it asks you question, do you want to reboot now? And of course. The same thing as the top, at the as the beginning. You type in Y or yes. I'm gonna type yes so you can see that one works too. And I'll be right back with um, this thing. 
So we're back here again. So if you never put a password in Backtrack, so the pass um, the login thing would be root, and then the password would be tool. Can't spell. Uh, the password would be like that. Unless you change the password, it would be that new password like I did. So m my login, unless you made a different user, then login to that user. And then the password would be whatever you made. Unless you didn't make a password, then it would be the backwards spelling of what I just showed you right now. So just in case, you know, people keep asking me. I don't know why they keep asking me, but they keep asking me. And it, and it tells you again right here, the default root password is tool. Uh, tour or however you want to pronounce it. Um, so let's see what this patch is doing. Let's see if it actually worked, right? All right, so we're back here again. And um, to show you that I am working with the RTL8187 chipset, uh, LS mod, uh, then that it should be on in the bottom of the space, the little thing. You guys, you guys know your keyboard, right? And then grep i r t l eight one eight seven. You don't have to remember this code. You don't have to type it out. If it if it works, you'll you'll see it right away. But I'm just showing you that I am working with this chipset. And then there you go. Um, and another way would be the uh, if config. Um, what is it? if conf no i w config. And then this will give me this will tell me the interface as well as the arrow Air, Airmon ng uh, and then this will also tell me the interface and the chipset that I'm working with and as you can see I'm am working with that one and if you remember from the script they tell you to put the RF kill and then list uh, as you can see the soft and the hard block are no longer yes it, well it's actually the hard block that goes to yes but it's no longer um yes so there you go and um what else uh oh yeah air airmon ng start wlan one because that's the interface we want to uh use a different one in case this one is um being used Okay, now that it gave us the mon zero interface, we can use the arrow dump ng mon zero because that's the new interface that it spit us out, so it won't interfere with the other interface. Ooh, mouthful. And as you can see, it's working. It's spitting out stuff, and it's actually working. Let me show you what my script actually is doing with that simple little commands. Um, so you don't have to tape it out. I did all this for you. So you guys, once once I give it to you guys, you guys can uh, look at it, uh, clean it up for me, um, or clean it up for yourself, um, if you want to share it or not. Um, or you can tell me on the on the comments below uh, what it needs or anything like that, different colors or whatever. Um, pretty much, this is this is the script. I'll be providing the video before the script. I'm still working out some some stuff about color you know aesthetic pleasing of your guys's eyes or whatever I'll probably just end up leaving it like that and just upload it um but the script already works as it is um I think the script is like 1.55 and I'm already on the fix uh 2.65 or something like that <laughs> oh well um this is cure my mind saying did this actually work for you? Did this fix work for you? Or did my other script work for you? What was easier? Was this one easier? Was the other one easier? Um, and which one actually helped you? So this is um, a Cure My Mind saying have a good one, I guess. I don't know. See you later.